Hi Yogi and welcome to my channel. My name is Ivy and in today's video we'll be going through a yoga flow to help us set intentions for the coming year. So the plan is that we'll be moving body to help ground, to center and also to clear the mind. And then at the end of the class we'll be doing meditation. You can do that both seated or lying down to help us set the intentions that we wish to set. So whenever you're ready, let's meet on the mat. We'll be meeting in a tabletop, planting your hands firmly onto the mat, having your shoulders over your wrist and your hips over your knees. And then once you're ready, just go for a few rounds of cat and cow. Inhale as we allow the belly to reach down. Chest reaching forward as we roll the shoulders back and gently lift the chin. As you exhale, rounding through the spine, as you press through your hands, really thinking about gripping the mat with your fingertips. Let's do that a few more times. Inhale to arch the spine. Try to have a sensation of pulling the chest forward in between the arms. Exhale to round. Having a sensation of growing a little bit longer through your arms to help puff off the area between your shoulder blades. Two more. Inhale to arch, allowing the movement to really follow the breath. Exhale to round. And if your breathing rhythm is a little bit different than mine, continue to just follow your own instead of mine. Final round, inhale, let's once again arch the spine. Notice how it feels to bring movement into the body. To so exhale, round. Really exaggerate this roundness through the spine, really puffing everything up to the sky. To slowly come back to center. Now in your tabletop, begin to suck the belly in, creating engagement through the core. So we stabilize through the lower back and then on your next inhalation, send your right leg towards the back and the left arm forward, keeping foot and hand off the floor. Trying to lengthen in two directions here by pressing firmly down into the right hand, take an inhale. As you exhale, elbow to knee, round the spine and try to squeeze everything together through center. Inhale, let's lengthen. And exhale, elbow to knee. Try to avoid coming into that arch of the spine that we did earlier, but keep the inhalation to length instead of arch. So keep space in your lower spine. Final time, inhale and exhale, draw everything to center. And then gently place your hand back down and your knee back down to the floor. Simply switch side, this time the left leg reaches to the back and the right arm reaches forward. Again, focusing more on length in the body rather than lifting up in the body. Take an inhale. Exhale, elbow to knee, round the spine. Strong through your left hand, press the floor away. Inhale, we lengthen, keeping space in your lower back. Exhale, elbow to knee. Let's do one final one. Inhale, we lengthen out and back. And exhale, elbow to knee, trying to round the spine, squeeze your knees up to your belly. And then gently place your hand and your knee back down. Let's do just one round of cat and cow. So we round and arch the spine, just to reset. And then once you're ready, coming back into a neutral tabletop, spreading your fingers, once again, really gripping the mat with the hands to tuck the toes under. And then as you inhale, hips up and back downward dog. Let's paddle out the feet, bending one knee at a time. And instead of your hands just passively resting on the floor, really try to press yourself away. Notice the more you press and root through your hands, the further you can lift your hips up and back. Try to really create space between your shoulder blades and in through the spine. As we then from here, look in between the hands, slowly begin to walk your feet to the top of the mat. There's no rush to reach there. At the top, we find a forward fold, allowing your body to, upper body here, just to completely relax, let go of your head, your neck. Maybe sway a little bit from side to side. You can always bend into your knees, hands wherever you want them to be. As we breathe into the back side of the legs. And then from here, slowly begin to roll all the way up to standing. Let's take two whole breaths to come all the way up. Reminding ourselves that we have no rush to be anywhere. Sometimes what we need to learn more is to slow down rather than anything else. Once you're at the top, roll your shoulders up, back and down. Arms just resting down by your side. Close your eyes. And just take a moment here to find your breath. 
allowing your breath to travel all the way down to your feet. As you begin to root down through your feet, growing tall through the rest of the body, then gently guide your weight into your left foot, drawing your right knee up into your chest. Flexing through the foot, slowly open the knee out to the side, and then with the help of your right hand, place the sole of your foot either by your inner thigh or down by your shin or down by your ankle, tree pose. Hands comes to heart center whenever you're ready. And then begin to still rooting down through your feet to grow tall as we press the foot into the leg, leg back into the foot to create engagement. Sucking your belly in here, maybe next inhale, arms comes overhead. Soften through your shoulders as you breathe, finding your balance. Make sure that you're breathing deeply to help with that balance. So then slowly bring the hands back to heart center. Now we're going to draw the right knee back in towards the chest, flexing through the foot. And then have your thigh parallel to the floor. Make sure your right hip is not lifting too much up, so guide the right hip down. And then as you inhale, reach your arms over the head. As you exhale, bring your left hand to the outside of the right thigh or right knee as we begin to reach the right fingertips back behind us, turning the chest towards the right. Standing twist. As we begin to turn the chest further towards the back hand, maybe you can bring your gaze with you towards the back, keeping yourself balanced on your left foot. Belly drawing in, grow tall through the crown of your head. To then slowly come back to center, both arms overhead, draw the knee in towards the belly. To then exhale, step the foot down, arms down by your side, that's in a mountain pose. Equalizing the weight in your feet, close your eyes. Arriving back, in the now. So then switch side, guiding your weight into your right foot, left knee comes up into chest. Once it's up, flex the foot, guide the knee out to the side with the help of your left hand, place your foot to the inner thigh, down by your shin or ankle. Hands comes to heart center. As we again press the foot and thigh firmly in towards each other or the shin into the foot, firmly into each other to help grow tall. Slight engagement through the center of your body, so your core area, to help stabilize. Next, inhale, the arms might reach overhead. I like to release my hands from each other so I have space for the shoulders to soften. As we simply just breathe. For an extra challenge, you can always try to close your eyes. As we then slowly guide the hands back to heart. Slowly bring the knee towards the center again, towards the chest. Find parallel to the floor with the thigh as we flex the foot. And then as you inhale, both arms reaches overhead. To then gently place the right hand to the outside of your left thigh, left fingertips reaches back behind you. Gently begin to turn the chest towards the left and turn it even further towards the back hand. Your gaze can slowly follow. Again, making sure you're still breathing and that you're still standing straight and strong. Flexing into the front foot helps with the balance. As we then inhale, rise all the way back to center, bring your knee into your chest. So then exhale, step the foot down, arms down by your side, Tadasana, one more time. Equalizing the weight in your feet. As we then take an inhale, reaching both arms overhead, find a lift through the heart. As you exhale, forward fold. Inhale, let's take a halfway lift here, find strength through your back body. And as you exhale, plant your hands to the floor and step back into a plank pose. Now your heels are right on top of the balls of your feet, grip the mat with your fingertips, press them down so we're not just passively resting the hands on the floor. Then send your shoulders over your wrist. As you exhale, let's lower it all the way down to the floor for the first round. Elbows in tight to the body, untuck your toes, press your nails into the mat, your hips into the floor. Inhale, cobra pose, lift the heart, roll the shoulders back behind you, light in your hands. To then exhale, come back down, tuck your toes, hips all the way up and back, downward facing dog. Remember the first downward dog we did, pressing into the hands, creating length in your spine, do that again. Try to create space between your shoulder blades as well by rolling the armpits in towards each other, in towards the chest. 
and then take an inhale, reach your right leg all the way up towards the sky. As you exhale, knee to chest up, the foot in between your hands, rising up high lunge, arms overhead. Just as in plank pose, can you keep the back heel up over the balls of your foot? Try to engage through your thighs and begin to hug your inner thighs in towards each other, helping square off the hips. Belly staying in, then take an inhale, lift the sternum, arms overhead and just gently reach them back behind you as if you're leaning over a very big ball. So then exhale, straighten both of your legs, bring your hands all the way down onto the mat or onto blocks or just onto the shin as we take an inhale to create length, exhale to fold. If this pyramid stance is a little bit too wide, you can step the back foot in one step closer. The heel can stay lifted or bring the heel down, whichever feels the best. Take an inhale to lengthen actively, sending the right hip back into space and exhale, fold. Allowing your neck here to be an elongation of the spine. As you then gently create length, walk the hands forward a few steps. Next, inhale, lift your left foot off the floor and let it come parallel to the mat, either flexing or pointing the foot here. You can keep your hands down for support or bring them onto the thigh to help find lift in the chest or bring your hands towards center. As you lengthen here in two different directions, just remember what we did in the beginning of Cat-Cow. Trying to balance here on your right foot. Can you grow a little bit taller through the right hip? Take one more inhale. Exhale, left foot comes to the top of the mat. Fold over your legs. Let it go. So then inhale, create length through the spine. Now bend your knees, sing your hips, arms overhead, chair pose. Set your tailbone down to the mat and then create a lift in the heart. So even if you're back bending, try to only bend through the upper part of your spine. It can be quite tricky. Take one more inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift on your inhalation. Exhalation, plant your hands, step back to plank pose. Now you're welcome to do cobra like we did earlier, otherwise shoulders over the wrist. Exhale, coming down halfway, chaturanga, elbows in tight to the body to inhale, lift the chest, pulling yourself forward in between the arms. So then exhale, downward facing dog. Allowing yourself a few deep breaths here. And let's go for the other side. Inhale, left leg reaches up to the sky. And then bring your knee into your chest, stepping the foot in between your hands. High lunge on this side, arms overhead. As we once again draw the thighs into each other, again lifting up through that back heel. Keeping your core engaged and sending your tailbone just slightly down to the mat. As we then take an inhale to lift the heart. And maybe lean your arms slightly backwards. So then gently straighten both your legs, hands comes to the floor or onto the shin, onto blocks, pyramid pose, adjusting your back foot as needed. As we take an inhale to create length in the spine, exhale to fold. And once again, really try to send the left hip back into space. Breathing into the sensations that this pose is giving your body. As we then create length again, walking your hands just a few steps forward to inhale, lift the back foot off the floor. Finding your supported warrior three, you're welcome to stay here or bring your hands to your thigh, can help create lift, or bring your hands to heart center. Trying to balance on your left foot, really grip the mat with your toes. Lengthen the crown of the head forward and the foot towards the back and maybe find a gentle lowering of that right hip. Staying strong in your body. Let's take another inhale. Exhale, step to the front of the mat, fold over your legs. So then take an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, sing your hips, arms overhead, chair pose one more time. Tailbone reaching down, lift up the chest. Can you actively draw the shoulder blades back and down? For one more breath in. Exhale, fold. As we then find a halfway lift. Planting your hands, step back plank pose. And then any of the two variations that we've just done, maybe all the way, maybe halfway. Inhale for cobra or up dog for a back bend. 
and then all the way back to downward dog. Allowing yourself to reset here in your downward dog. Create space through the spine, through the shoulders. Find the ground with your hands and with your feet. As we go for one more flow. When you're ready, the right leg reaches the sky. As you exhale, knee to chest, step the foot in between your hands. High lunge, one more time, arms overhead. And then once you're here, open up warrior two, spin your back heel down, open your hips, arms parallel to the floor. Sinking into your front knee, but keep rooting down through your feet, especially your front heel. Looking over your front fingertips, reverse your palm. As we inhale, reverse your warrior, the right arm reaches up to the sky, left hand to back thigh or lower back. Still bending into your front knee. Keep space between your shoulders by rolling your top armpit in towards the chest. So then slowly come back to center warrior two. Let's straighten the front leg. Sending the right fingertips forward and then down as the left arm reaches the sky. Begin to turn the chest up towards the top hand. Create a lifting sensation through your top fingertips as we send the hips backwards. So then gently look down to the floor. Bend into your front knee. Maybe walk the back foot in a few steps. So guide the right fingertips forward a few steps to lift the left foot off the floor. Half moon pose. You can always use a block underneath that hand. If you need help, the top hand can come to the hip to help turn the hip open. And then slowly guide even more weight into your standing foot. Maybe we can slowly float the right hand off the mat. Keeping your belly in here, lengthen in four different directions for another inhale. Exhale forward, fall to the top of the mat, left foot steps forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank. Your variation of a vinyasa, maybe all the way, maybe halfway down to a back bend of choice. Make sure you pull your chest in between the arms to exhale, downward dog. And we got one final side to go. When you're ready, left foot to sky. Exhale, knee to chest, step the foot through. High lunge when you're ready, arms overhead. And then let's once again open up warrior two. Looking over your front fingertips. But even so, can you have equal awareness through both of your hands? So you're sensing both hands, even though you're just gazing over the front. Flipping your front palm. Let's reverse it, left arm comes overhead. Finding a side bend here, breathing into your left side body. So then slowly come back to center. Now let's straighten the front leg. Left fingertips comes forward, 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 and then down. Trying to keep length in the left side of your waist so we're not crunching too much through the waistline. Maybe gazing up towards the right hand. And even though we are leaning forward and then lowering down, can you continuously find the sensation of rising through the body? The energy is lifting up. So then look down to the mat, bend into your front knee, walk the back foot in a few steps so the left hand can come forward a few steps and then lift the right foot off the floor. As we turn, keep the hips and the chest turned towards the right, turning the chest up towards the top hand. Bring more weight into your standing foot Light in your left hand, maybe float the hand off the floor. Keep breathing, lengthen in four different directions. Take one more breath in. Exhale forward, fold to the top of the mat. Nice work. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank. Let's take a final vinyasa here, your variation. Just to reset, connecting to our breath all the way back into a downward dog. And then once you're here, let's find a child's pose. Bring your knees to the mat, hips back to your heels, and forehead down to the ground. Giving yourself a few moments here to catch your breath. Allowing each inhalation to reach all the way to the back of your ribs. And with your exhalation, allowing your sit bones and your hips to sink a little bit deeper towards the heels. Allowing yourself to melt into the mat. 
then on your next inhale, roll all the way up to seated. From here, swing your hips to one side so you can bring the legs in front of you. And now let's keep the right leg straight, bend your left knee and bring the sole of your foot to your inner thigh. As we take an inhale here to reach the arms overhead, flex into the right foot. As you exhale, fold down to over the right leg. Your hands, wherever they reach, they can be on the floor, they can grab hold of the foot. As we take an inhale to create length in the spine, exhalation to fold down. The right hip is actively searching towards the back. As we then inhale, slowly rise all the way back up to seated. Now we're gonna keep the right leg straight, bring your left knee up into the chest and simply step it to the outside of the right thigh. So then take an inhale, reach your right arm overhead and then bring your right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Left hand comes back behind you. Your right hand can be in the air, you can grab hold of the thigh. As we take an inhale to lift up through the chest and then use the exhalation to twist your chest towards the back, twisting the spine. Pressing down through your sit bone to help lengthen, so we're not leaning too much into the backhand, but the backhand is pressing the floor away so we can lift the chest further. So then slowly come all the way back to center. Now we switch sides, straighten the left leg, right foot to inner thigh. Flexing into the left foot, inhale, reaching the arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward. And again, your hands can just be wherever as we take an inhale to lengthen and exhale to fold. Sending your breath into the back of your left leg, can you guide the left hip a little bit more back? And really just allow your neck here to soften, your shoulders to soften. Slowly, slowly surrendering into your depth. As we then inhale, slowly rise all the way back up to seated. Guiding your right knee into your chest and step your foot to the outside of the left thigh. This time, left arm to sky. Exhale, bring the elbow to the outside of the knee. Again, hand wherever you want it to be. Right hand comes behind you. And then take an inhale to lift up through the chest. To exhale, turn the chest towards the right. Your gaze here can follow the shoulder. And again, once focusing on this root to rise, so we're not just leaning ourselves backwards, keeping the chest lifted the whole time. So then slowly come back to center. Bringing your legs in front of you, and then plant the feet onto the floor by keeping the knees bent, and just give yourself a little bit of a hug. You can rock a little bit from side to side. Just take a moment to notice how your body is doing. Do you wish to do the next meditation seated or laying down? And once you have decided, find either a comfortable seated position or lay all the way down on your back. If you're seated, root your sit bones down into the mat to help lengthen the spine. If you're on your back, allow your whole body to just surrender into the floor. And then just close your eyes. Beginning to breathe into your whole body, allowing the breath to travel into every cell within you. And as you exhale, can you soften into your body? So we then guide the breath and the focus, the awareness into the heart. And just take a moment here to reflect upon the past year. No matter how negative or positive, just allow everything to enter and everything to go again. As 
We then send our focus into the future. And just taking a moment to reflect upon, hmm, how do I wish to approach the world from here on? Is there anything from today's practice I'd like to take with me? The focus, the concentration, the balance of the breath. Is there anything I wish to leave behind? The frustration, irritation, annoyance. Or maybe something else. As we then dig a little bit deeper into the heart and listen. What is that one intention that you really wish to grow, to plant and grow? It can be anything. It can be one specific goal. It can be a mindset. It can be to just breathe. And whatever that intention is, allow yourself to repeat it within you three times as if it's already happened. Three times within your heart. Then gently seal that in with a deep inhalation and exhalation. Arriving back in your body, feel the surface underneath you rooting your sit bones down and lengthen the spine up. And if you're laying down, feeling the whole surface underneath the back of your body. And then gently bring your palms together in front of your heart. And just take a moment to appreciate the effort that you took to step onto your mat today. And I also thank you so much for allowing me to guide you through the practice. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you here on the channel some other time. Thank you so much. Namaste.